Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Haras Serka. Please stand for a Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Thursday, October 24th, 2024. Now let's take a look at today's history with Giselle. Thank you, Harasa. How's it going, Patriots? Today in history, on October 24th, 1901, was the first Niagara Falls barrel ride was made. This event was done by a 63-year-old named Annie Edison Taylor. The Niagara Falls is a waterfall made from three falls put together. The actual first person to plunge down the Niagara Falls was Sam Patch also known as the Yankee Leaper. Did you know that Taylor actually chose to ride off the Niagara Falls for her birthday? Now that's a wish come true. Even though she wasn't the first person to plunge off the Niagara Falls, she was the first person to plunge in a barrel. Now let's check today's menu with Kayla. Thank you Giselle. Today's lunch is hamburger, buffalo chicken wrap, baked beans, baby carrots, garden salad, ranch dressing, sliced peaches, and your of milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is French toast sticks, cheesy scrambled eggs, honey nut Cheerios, string cheese, and 100% apple juice. Students, please keep in mind the lunch maker change at any time, and don't forget to let your teachers know if you're receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, let's go back to Odessa. Thank you, Kayla. That sounds super califragilistic expialidocious. Today's grades going to the Patriot store are seventh through eighth. Welcome back, Patriots. The long wait is finally over. The kickboard store is up and running once again. If you plan to come to the kickboard store, make your teacher write down the amount of kickboard points you have along with your first and last name. But of course you have the option to do it yourself. Then wait in line for someone to help you. For those of you that don't know where it is, head on down to Miss Google Computer Lab. Please make sure to stay quiet, order for our RBTV member Hi, to welcome. assist you. How many points do you have? Uh, 90. Okay, come on. Once you get some assistance, an RBTV member will tell you your budget and you can pick from a wide selection of items. Okay, so you can get from 10, all the way to 75. What would you like to get? The pizza? When you pick your item, go on the black carpet like so, and Mr. Santiago will ring you up. Now you're ready to go. Easy peasy. Isabella Rodriguez. Thank you. You're welcome. And remember, Patriots, the store closes from 715 to 755. Amber Patriots, go plus ultra. And tomorrow's grades will be kindergarten. Let's keep earning those dollars to afford an exclusive fluffy plushie. I won't disclose anything more than that. Maybe you'll see it at the store on your day. Patriots, make sure to spit out any gum that you have before entering the building. And phones, make sure they're often in your bags at all times. Also, wear only a school jacket or sweater. Today is finally the Patriot of the Month ceremony. All the previously canceled ceremonies will now take place. You've all waited so long, and now is your time to get your award, so make sure to look your best. The book fair's time's almost up. I hope you all seek out the book that you've wished for. Anyways, teachers, make sure to check the schedule to see when your class is going. This Saturday is the Fall Festival. How exciting! Make sure to have your tickets in order to get in. There will be games, prizes, raffles, and a famous haunted hallway. The timing will be from 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Let's have a fantastic time. The payment for the barnyard dance is due today. The dance is only K through fifth grade, and it will be tomorrow. I hope you have your outfits ready. Now let's view the weather charts with Catherine. Thank you, Hudasa. Salutations, Patriots. Today's weather is 85 degrees Fahrenheit with partly cloudy skies. In other weather news, global warming is changing the world's geography. As temperature rises around the globe, glaciers and cold areas have begun melting. The Italy-Switzerland border is composed of glaciers like these. Since the glaciers have become smaller, Italy and Switzerland have agreed to change parts of their border. Did you know that the glaciers in some countries lost around 4% of their volume in 2023 and up to 6% in 2022? Who knew temperatures could cause so many problems? Now it's your Paige's happy birthday with Eliah. Thank you, Catherine. There are no birthday boys or girls today, but I still want all of you guys to have a fabulous day. Now let's go on a trip with Jasmine with Patriot on the Go. Hey, Patriots. Welcome back to Patriot on the Go. I'm Jasmine Smith, and today's question is, 
If you could ask a Disney princess a question, what would you ask? Hello, what's your name? Mackenzie. If you could ask a Disney princess a question, who would it be and what would you ask? Pocahontas so I can learn her fighting skills. Do you know what fighting skills are specific? Like her ninja skills. See, I'd want to learn that too. Thank you for your answer. Bye. Hello, what's your name? Nyla. If you could ask a Disney princess a question, who would you ask and what would you ask? Um, I'll ask Moana and I'll ask her, how do you know how to sail a boat at such a young age? That's actually a really good question. Thank you for your answer. Bye. Bye. Hello, what's your name? Annabella. If you could ask a Disney princess a question, who would you ask and what would you ask? Tiana. What would you ask her? Um, what's her recipe? I would ask her that too. <laughs> Thank you for your answer. Bye. Hello, what's your name? Lyric. If you could ask a Disney princess a question, who would you ask and what would you ask? I would ask Cinderella. What would you ask her? I would ask her if I can get her shoes and her crown. That's real. See you later, alligator. <laughs> Thank you for your amazing responses, Patriots. I would personally ask Princess Aurora to prick me so I go to sleep for 100 years. See you next time on Patriot on the Go. Thanks, Jasmine. Interesting responses, Patriots. Patriots, here are Pat's expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Barrow, Mr. D, Ms. Arnold, Ms. Cavalita, and Ms. Nelson for getting to the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, how many strings does a guitar have? The correct answer was, most have six, although there are exceptions. Today's daily challenge is, Daily Challenge! What is arachnophobia? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone on RPTV, I'd like to wish you all a treasurous Thursday. Have a spooky day!